For one moment, everything's good. Everyone's well, everyone's happy. In that one minute, you have peace. In the movie, While You Were Sleeping, the Callahan family went through tough times when the oldest boy almost died and was in a coma for a week. Finally, on New Year's Eve, he came out of the coma and everything looked great. The next morning, the dad was up early eating breakfast and looking at life with joy and hope when the youngest son came in to talk. The dad was talking about that week and its difficulties and ended with this statement about the one minute of peace. As we study about King David, we might begin to wonder if he ever had one minute of peace. From the moment he was anointed king by Samuel, his life was one of constant movement, dealing with conflict, fleeing from Saul, and establishing an uneasy relationship with the Philistines. Even after Saul's death and he was declared king in Hebron, there was constant conflict and war, which continued long after his kingdom and the ark were established in Jerusalem. But as we saw previously, God led him to victory everywhere, 2 Samuel 8, verse 6 and verse 14. Let us not forget, though, victory comes through conflict. So when was David's moment of peace? Well, that moment appeared in the next verse. So David reigned over all Israel and did what was just and right for all his people, 2 Samuel 8, verse 15. We don't know if that minute was a day, a month, or a year, but the description is an indicator of the character of David. When everything was good, everyone was happy, and there was a moment of peace, David did what was right and just. That's why he was the type of the true king, King Jesus. What about you? Do you have peace? If your life seems to be drowning in conflict inside and out, know this. No matter what your current situation may be, you can have that moment of peace only in the true and righteous King, King Jesus. If you don't have that peace, it's because you haven't turned to God who provides a peace which surpasses all comprehension. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. However, the only way to have the peace which surpasses all comprehension is to fill our minds with God's revealed word and then do the things learned there, Philippians 4, verses 8 and 9. Let's not think or teach that God's peace is some kind of magical power rising up from within like the fantasy shows on TV. No, that's not how it works. His peace comes to those who immerse themselves in him and his word and obey him. Do not believe for a moment that you can have his peace without going through the conflict of daily self-denial and submissive obedience to his will. David got to that moment of peace by going through the conflict. So will you. And when he arrived, he appreciated God even more. If you have turned to God and received his peace, appreciate him for it and remember to thank him every day. Well, thank you for watching today's Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until tomorrow, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.